This movie shows the August 2008 eclipse observed from Novosibirsk, Siberia, Russia. My photographic goal in this eclipse was to capture the moon's shadows across the site. A side effect of the wide-angle photos I used was to capture the experience of observing an eclipse. As you can hear from the soundtrack, many observers, and myself included, went a little crazy during the event. This is part of the eclipse experience. First, some explanation to make it easier to understand what you're about to see. A solar eclipse happens when the moon crosses the ecliptic between the sun and a portion of the earth. This doesn't happen every month since the moon's orbit is tilted relative to the ecliptic. When the new moon occurs at the point where the orbit crosses the ecliptic, an eclipse is possible. When the moon completely blocks the sun, it shadows a portion of the earth as represented in this photo. Observers under the shadow are experiencing a total eclipse. The goal of these photographs was to capture the edges of the shadow. We observed the eclipse on a beach near the Ob Sea, a freshwater reservoir near the city of Novosibirsk in Siberia, Russia. Our site was a beach with a westerly view. The eclipse occurred at 5.44 p.m. local time, so the sun was relatively low in the west. The shadow approached the site from almost due north. One final piece of explanation. The annotated frame is from late in the eclipse. We are looking roughly west over the Ob Sea. The shadow approached from the north, right in the photo, and departed to the south. As the fully shadowed area came closer to our site, the sunlight was reduced. The total eclipse began when the shadow crossed over the site. The areas around us still received partial sun during the time we saw a total eclipse. Note the clouds in the distance lit by the twilight colors. Also in this photo, note the curved shape of the shadow. It's now three minutes to go. It's noticeably darker. The uh, program on the camera is now automatically running. The moon at this point covers, covers most of the sun. You can see just a little sliver of, of light on the south side. Uh, some people have said that, that they can see darkening in the north. I can't see anything yet. We can now see the shadow coming in. It's approximately two minutes until the eclipse is uh, set to begin. The wind does not seem to have abated at all. There's now an uh, ever-decreasing shadow. Uh, the moon now covers all but from the 11 o'clock down, down to the 7 o'clock position. A thin, a thin sliver remains. It's approximately one minute to the eclipse. The, the band on the, uh, of, of light on the, uh, remaining on the sun continues to decrease. I'm looking at it through the sun through, through my solar glasses at this point. Very little sun left. The sky is noticeably darker. Shadows are just shadows are fading out. You can start hearing the, the crowd in the background. We're down to, now to just a little, tiny spot at the nine o'clock. People are calling shadow bands. We're just about a diamond ring.
Diamond ring, diamond ring, the crown is out. Mercury is visible about 10 o'clock from the sun. Venus is visible further in the same direction. I'm taking off my eye patch. We're solidly in the shadow at this point. Uh, the, uh, the, the sun has a one prominent uh, major uh, corona feature heading off to the left. There's also a thick band of it heading down to the right. Um, then there's almost a uniform around there. I don't see any prominences, but then again, I'm looking at it non-magnified. Gorgeous, gorgeous. In the 2006 eclipse, I was able to see magnetic structure as lines of force coming from the sun. I did not see anything in this eclipse. Looking around the horizon now, it's dark. The, sh the street lights have come on, but you can see a uh, light all the way around us. The shadow is, is very noticeable in the direction of the sun right now. The camera is noticeably slowed down its exposure, so indi indicating it's much darker now than it used to be. Uh, there's still the uh, the prominence out to the seven o'clock is still very very noticeable. Or the the corona uh, out to the seven o'clock is still noticeable. The inner corona is perfectly uniform around. Uh, forms a perfectly uniform disk around the sun. Um, like I said, I can't see any prominences or any other features that I've seen in previous eclipses. The uh, the prominence to the right side, uh, the outer corona is a little bit more noticeable now than it was. Uh, it's getting noticeably uh, lighter to the uh, to the north at this point, and getting noticeably darker down to the south down to the uh, southwest. The uh, the shadow is the shadow is definitely the the end of the moon shadow is definitely coming. It's it's getting noticeably brighter down to the north. All right, looks like diamond rings got come out. This diamond ring. And the ball game is over. The moon shadow continues to retreat. I can see the south now is all dark. And our friends in China are probably pretty close to the point where they're going to see the, the shadow's going to go over to them within the next few minutes. The next two photos were taken from the wide angle frames. I'm displaying them at about two times the resolution of the camera. In the first image, you'll see that the outer corona was not circular. Brighter areas extend from the 7 o'clock to the right of the sun. Mercury is the dot at 10 o'clock from the sun. In the second frame, I'm processing the image differently. You'll now see the brighter inner corona and the dimmer outer corona. I hope you enjoyed this eclipse experience. For more movies and other educational material, please see my website.